More than 10 million people from Georgia to Virginia could feel the impact of Hurricane Florence. The massive storm is larger than North and South Carolina combined, and it's quickly closing in on the east coast of the United States. The storm has weakened to a Category 2, but forecasters warn Florence is still extremely dangerous. Director of the National Hurricane Center, Ken Graham, joins us now live from Miami. Uh, Ken, we've been sort of checking in with you throughout this whole thing. Give us the latest on the storm. How is it changing? Well, and Marie and Vlad, we are keeping a close eye. I keep getting handed pieces of paper with the latest. I do want to share this. The latest winds, 105 miles an hour. Uh, we actually have sustained at Cape Lookout at 54 miles an hour. So the, the, the impacts are here. We were talking about it last couple of days arriving, and it really has. Look at the radar here. The center, very obvious on the radar, but we can't just concentrate on the, on the center because we got tropical storm force winds 170 miles away from the center. So we've already seen that along the North Carolina coast. So, so important not to think of just this center. Think about this, this large hurricane impacting a lot more than wherever we're making the landfall. And has it been slowing down like was forecast that, that, that you know, the prediction was that it would start to move slower and slower and slower as, as it hit, um, as it got closer to land? Yeah, we've been having the aircraft in there and looking at radar, it is slowing down indeed. And, and that trend is going to continue. The latest forecast, we just updated this a, a little bit ago. So approaching the coast, we already have those tropical storm force winds on the coast. But this, this is important. Look at this. This is 8 o'clock tomorrow, and this is 8 o'clock on Saturday. That's not a lot of real estate that we, that we cover in that period of time. That means prolonged winds rotating around, and that's what's going to pile up this rain. That's what's going to pile up this storm surge and continuously having this, uh, you know, the, the winds. It's not just necessarily about that wind speed. It's how long you're going to have those winds and impacts. So as people hear the reporting, Ken, and they say to themselves, look, it's been downgraded to a Category 2 uh, but we understand that the wind has actually and the, the size of the hurricane has gotten larger. What should people practically be concerned about? Think of it this way. You know, you have the wind speed fluctuating a, a little bit, but you still have the same energy. And, and really the wind speed, and you think about the category, that's just dealing with the wind. The impact forecast has not changed at all. You still have the same energy. All that happened was you spread out a little bit of, of the how bigger storm with more of the wind. And look at these impacts. They haven't changed. We still have the forecast for 20 to 30 inches, possibly 40. And well inland, Raleigh, Charlotte, 6 to 10, even Roanoke over to Asheville, you can see 4 to, to 6 inches. With that terrain, that's some deadly flash flooding. And the storm surge just keeps pounding inland. And the longer you have those winds, by the way, you can actually see storm surge. Sometimes you can get miles inland. And, and by the way, look how far portions of North Carolina, you have the storm here, but even portions of the northern part of North Carolina can still get that storm surge. So definitely not about that center, not about the, the wind speed, but it's about those impacts. All right. It's about the impact. Ken Graham, thank you.